Antopinias Channel TV We write in Africa story Through Enterprise Amazons We promote Women in business We showcase Women in business Entrepreneurs Channel TV Creating a platform of expression for every woman. Can you please introduce yourself and your organization to our viewers? My name is Barista Anne Akban. I belong to an organization called Association of Women in Trade and Agriculture. So, um, can you briefly explain what you're doing with Women in Trade and Agriculture? Okay, Women in Trade, it's uh, a, an organization that is interested in women who are into any kind of trade and who are into agriculture. You know that these days, women are more into farming and in Nigeria as a whole, we know that women are more into trade than the men. So the, uh, the, the purpose of the organization is to help see that women find their feet in whatever they are doing, in whatever field they are doing. Our association is an organization that helps give the women a voice. We sit down, deliberate on issues, then we bring them out and let the government know. So, Ma, what motivated the putting together of this event? Okay, this event, um, we are doing it in, in uh, collaboration with CDD. And why we had to do this event is because our women are complaining, they are crying, that the tax they pay is too much. We have different form of tax. Sometimes it's uh, multiple tax, paying the same thing in different forms. We pay, we pay tenement trades, we pay ground rents, we pay business premises, we pay shop levy, you know, a lot of them. So we came together to say, okay, these levies are too much. So they should be synchronized and brought as one so that we don't need to pay much. And apart from that, we pay, yet we suffer. Because these taxes, as far as I know, is supposed to be used in providing social amenities for us, like good roads, good water, you know, but we don't have them. Health centers, our women are dying. Go, go around the uh, villages, the same women who, who, um, who pay tax are made to go far off. Even in the cities, they're made to go far off to go to the hospital. So sometimes they die on their way. And so now we are saying no, we don't want that anymore. We are saying no, we want the government to come to our aid. So that's why this program, uh, that's why we decided to do this program, so that let the government hear our cry. So Ma, what should we expect from the organization in the next future? Well, in the nearest future, what we hope for is that a lot of things would have changed. A lot of our women will be empowered, a lot of these things we just complained of would have been addressed. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Introduce yourself to Yes, I'm Honorable Urimi Yakubu Angkisit. Farmers, traders, and my organization is a with the association of Yes, the challenges we are facing so far is the tax. Because the rate they are collected, the tax is too much. See, cause the limitation, instead of progress in the farm and the traders, that is the challenges we are facing. So, what would you love to say about the program? Yes, very fantastic. It's a miss. It's like it's another educational setup. Because the issue of tax, we believe that uh, 
is, is people, is, is task people, is robbing people. But at the end of the day, we discover that to pay tasks is helping us. By virtue of things, if you are paying your tasks, where the money is going and when the money is reached here, go back to you to come and help your environment, development, environment sector. So and it's very fantastic. She educates us very well and it differentiates to us to know that there are certain things that is service. If you are doing it, no law that behind it. And it's showing us that if you are not paid the task, it's like uh, there's, you are challenging this law and you are not following the law. And by being a task at the end of the day, so that whatever you pay will come back to you. So from there, the community will progress. There will be a lot of development on it. They mention a lot, a lot, that by paying your tax at the end of the day, you will make the community to, uh, to progress. Entrepreneurs Channel TV, Africa's first gender-based television service. At Entrepreneurs Channel TV, our primary responsibility is promoting women entrepreneurs in West African countries. We also support women's well-being, share women's knowledge on a variety of subjects and topics, passions and opinions. Entrepreneurs Channel TV is on Intelsat 20. Our satellite coverage is within Africa, Europe, Middle East, Asia, North and South America. Opportunities abound for women-owned micro to small businesses, corporate bodies and organizations and also government parastatas. For inquiries and advert placements, contact 0705-5053-843. Entrepreneurs Channel TV, rewriting Africa's story through enterprise Amazon. And then Because if I to she will But Program Please introduce yourself and your brand to our viewers. Okay. I am Honorable Itodo Rebecca. I'm from Kogi. I'm a trader and also a farmer. I trade on palm oil, that is red oil, igala oil to be specific. So ma, as a female farmer, what are the challenges you are facing? Me, the challenge, the challenge we are facing is that, you know, I do farm on the cassava. You understand? At times, you, at times in the farming of cassava, you face a lot of challenges. At times there will be no rain. At times there will be no money to continue to hire a tractor. At times there will not be farmer farming input. You understand what you're supposed to use. Maybe you go, you look for tractor to clear your land and everything. You go for almost a month without getting one. And the time of planting it will be delaying. So that's one of the challenges we are facing in our area. So what would you love to say about the program? Ah, the program was so fantastic. It was so nice. We didn't even know that it's going like this. It's just like, like we are in the school, just like our education sector for us. You understand? We really, really gain a lot of things from this program today. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much.